Managing your invoices with Saddle couldn't be easier. So let's take a quick walkthrough of the steps to add an invoice to your account, and then we'll take a peek at some of our invoice management tools as well. So when you want to add an invoice to your account, there's a few ways that you can go about doing that. The first is by forwarding an email with an attachment to the email address at the top of your dashboard. We assign a unique email address to every business that creates an account on Settle. So anything forwarded here will automatically show up in your account and you won't have to take any additional steps to upload that invoice manually. We recommend that you share this email address directly with your vendors. So the next time that they send an invoice via email, they can simply add this email address on CC and like magic, it'll show up in your Settle account. Now, if you already have the invoice file on hand or you don't want to share that email address for whatever reason, you can go ahead and upload an invoice the old fashioned way with our file uploader or even better, if your QuickBooks account or Zero account is linked with Settle, you can import a bill that way as well. I'm going to upload an invoice with our file uploader. And once that loads, we can confirm that the details in the invoice itself match the details in this payment panel. I'm not going to go through these steps right now. We'll do a different video on that. But once those details look good to me, I can go ahead and schedule a payment or I can leave this for later. Now, when I come back to my Settle account later, if I go to the Payables tab here, we'll see all of the invoices that I've ever uploaded, again, via any of those methods that I already mentioned. We can see the invoice statuses as well as some high level details about the invoices themselves. And as you can see, I've been doing some tests here. So I have a bunch of junk invoices that I want to get rid of. If you select multiple invoices at once, you'll see a menu of options here. So we can actually either schedule multiple payments at once. We can add labels to these invoices. We can export the details of these invoices or we can trash them. Now, if we take a look at these options across the top here, we see that we have filtered views uh, for our unscheduled payments, invoices that are in review that we've requested review from another teammate for, scheduled, paid, and trash. We can also choose to hide some of these categories if they're not super relevant to us. Maybe don't, we don't wanna see the trash category we can also change the columns that show up on this page as well. And we can hide or show fees associated with financing if you do qualify for settle financing. Now, if we take a look at one of these unscheduled invoices, we can see some options across the top here. We can add a label to this invoice. You can see I've created a couple of labels already. We can apply one or both to this invoice and we see those appear here. We can trash the invoice. We can mark it as paid if the transaction happened off platform for whatever reason, but we still wanna keep track of it. And we can request approval from a teammate. So I can choose to, to request approval from either any coworker, so one of the group, or all of the group. And I'll go ahead and select different users. So we can assign one in here and we can click request approval. Now that user will see the appro approval requests both in their email as well as their settle account. And once they approve it, it'll be paid. And finally, of course, we have some great search and filtering tools so that you can find the invoices that you need at any given time. So we can search by vendor, which is pre-populated with a list of the vendors in our account. We can search by the invoice number, as well as a variety of other criteria, including status. And there you have it. That's a quick look at some of our invoice management functionality on Settle.